Rub up your engines! Today I'm going to talk about how a used Corvette can be a very good weekend toy car. They started out as just a plain old six cylinder, it was underpowered, they put a V8, and since the 1950s to today, they sold over a million and a half Corvettes. Since there's so many of them, you can get them at a really good price. And since they only are two seaters, most of them are bought as toys. And as toys, they're often not played with that much. So, there's plenty of them out there that have low mileage that you can buy. For example, this 2006 Corvette originally sold for over $47,000. Yet my customer bought it used with less than 50,000 miles on it for less than one third of that sticker price. He's had it a few years and now he's got a whopping 57,000 miles on it. The paint still looks new. Original paint job, 14 years old, fiberglass. They don't rust. Now an older lady was the original owner. He's the second owner. This LS2 V8 engine, she obviously never strained it all that much. And okay, I gotta put a stick in here because the hood struts are worn out. Well, the customers bought the hood struts. I'm putting them on later, so that'll fix that problem. He just went to a discount auto parts store and bought them. It's GM. Parts are readily available for these things. It's not like you're buying a Ferrari and everything costs $10,000 to fix. See here. There's actually quite a bit of working room. Alternators on top where you can easily replace it if you have to. It's a pretty well set up engine compartment. And it's a classic rear wheel drive sports car. Low enough to the ground that it's gonna corner well. That's where a vehicle like this differs from say a Mustang. Mustang is a classic muzzle car. They're higher up in the air. Great for straight line. But these are much better cornering vehicles. I like the racing start hood that opens backwards. It's much easier to get in and work on them. A lot easier to show it off just popping it up in the air where people can go around and look inside. They're not worried about hitting their head on the hood because they got to crawl inside. Most of them are already toys. Most of the owners take very good care of them. It's their baby. Some of them won't even take them out when it's raining outside. Hey, brand new 2020 Corvettes. They started like 60 grand. And even though this one's 14 years old, it's still got a lot of modern technology. So if you're buying a used one, hey, you get a good app on your phone, or of course pay a mechanic like me to check it out to see if it's got any problems. But some of these new software programs, they can get you all kinds of information in a flash. You just get the little dongle in this case. It's a think tag now. It is not the market yet. I'm trying the beta version. You just get it and you go under the dash and you look for the OBD port and it just plugs right in. That's it. We're going to do all system full function here. We're going to check everything. It's now automatically reading the car. And as you can see, it knows it's a Corvette and it even read the VIN number. The simple thing like health report and we'll see what shape it's in. This is a six speed automatic. So we click that. It's got a navigation radio. So we'll click that. These things are pretty thorough. It's finding a few fault codes. The high tech scanner like this, they can't hide problems from the car. You can see it's checking all kinds of different devices and it's still only 82% thought. And I've been sitting there for a couple of minutes. Now in this case, it shows a crankshaft position sensor having a bad performance. Nah, this thing's old, things wear as they age. But since it's this guy's toy and he wants it to run right, I'll end up changing the crankshaft position sensor on it. Now, as you can see here, you get a professional report on this. The red X's mean that there's a problem in that system, and the check marks mean it's okay. So you can see this has quite a few red marks. If you're an absolute fanatic about your car, you wouldn't buy this particular one. But being a toy, a lot of the stuff is just crazy things like the position of the passenger seat isn't reading right. Now this thing sits all the time and he just replaced the battery. So a lot of that can even happen by just replacing the battery because the old battery was low on power. Low on power confuses the computer. So it trips codes. Now I've been a mechanic for 52 years. I see all kinds of codes all the time when I use a high level scanner like this. On cars that run perfectly fine, customers don't care. Since the OBD stuff is normal, it passes emission tests, the car runs perfectly fine. As the modern car ages, there's a lot of nonsense that you're just gonna live with. And this vet, hey, it's 16 years old, it still runs like a top. There's nonsensical electronic stuff that'll go on. You should see the later model ones, the crazy stuff that happens to them. But as long as it runs, passes the test, it's a toy, 
Who cares? Runs pretty good and passes the yearly emissions test. And that's why I say these used vets can be great weekend toy cars. Two seaters? But they got really nice racing design seats that hold you in when you're cornering fast. And you can do whatever you want with them. Turbochargers, superchargers, whatever you want to do on these vets. They've been around so long. There is an insane aftermarket for them. Now even stock like this, they make a decent rumbling sound. Well, personally, I like the older ones. Stingray that just had straight side pipes. And boy, that made some nice noise. But this makes a really conservative noise. For those who want a toy, it isn't going to bug their neighbors too much. Now, of course, these things have plenty of power. It has an LS2 that puts out 400 horsepower, but also 400 pound-feet of torque. A lot of torque for acceleration. People like the vets because they take off fast. So it doesn't just look fast and sleek. It's got a real low coefficient of drag because of its shape. It also is very fast. This thing could go 186 miles an hour if you're crazy enough to go that fast. But if you drive this thing sanely, you can get 28 miles a gallon on the highway. 55, 60 miles an hour. Fiberglass body weighs less so if that big v8 engine is in top gear so it can get decent mileage on the highway gm has been working on the suspension system of these things since the 1950s so they are good handling cars driving now i mean of course they are somewhat bumpy there's only so much you can do with a racing design you got a deal like he did this thing still only has 50,000 miles on it the guy could easily sell the thing for what he paid for or maybe even a little bit more you get tired of this toy hey sell it and get another toy if that's the way you are because it's not like you pay 60 grand for a new one and then five years later it goes for 20, 25,000 or even less. Find a nice one like this, you gotta look around to find it, yes. And I mean, he found it from a little old lady, strangely enough, who was driving it, which is even better. But with one and a half million of these things sold, hey, there's lots of them out there if you only use your eyes and look. So now you know why a clean used Corvette can be a really fun toy car to buy. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.